let me get this straight. A security guard at the U.S. consulate told you to check your bag at a convenience store. Was that a little strange to you? It was, but at that moment, you're concerned about missing your appointment. Denise Jancy found out phones and bags were prohibited from the U.S. consulate building only when she went to renew her visa two weeks ago. What surprised her even more, she was told to leave her belongings at a convenience store down the street. I'd like to leave my bag. Mm -hmm. okay. So do you lock it up? Okay. City News okay. went undercover to check out Jancy's claims. Turns out every day consulate visitors bring their personal belongings to this smoke shop where they're kept behind the counter on the floor. Do you have like a locker or anything? No, just... don't have locker. So you just leave it here? Ma'am, I'm standing here, so I'm taking care of your staff. Right. I'm doing from a long time, and every day I do 200 people come here, so don't get worried. After you drop your belongings off, you'll get a deposit slip like this, and you can see it's specifically for visitors to the U.S. consulate, which is in a completely separate building down the street. And who is responsible for that? It's just a paper that she printed out. What if she is not there anymore? Or she can say, oh no, she never left it here. The consulate tells City News their priority is to keep their building safe. And they do not have the storage capability or manpower to store personal items brought to the building by 500 visitors a day. In a statement, the consulate spokesperson says the consulate security guards often provide information to help orient visitors and make suggestions in order to assist them. They sometimes unofficially recommend a local establishment which provides storage or other business services and do not not direct visitors to any particular commercial establishment. Um, I was just sent over from the consulate. But this store worker says they have been receiving business from the consulate for years. We so provided service for the last 10, 15 years, but it was very slow until last year. Last year they were sending most of the people here, okay? So at $5 a piece, this store has been making money off consulate visitors. Oh, he'll come back on Saturday. We went back to the store and wanted to ask them how this all started, how much they make, but it was clear they didn't want to talk. I don't have to answer anything. Consulate officials tell me they are looking for more ways to make their information readily available and in more languages. You can find a list of prohibited items on our website, citynews.ca, but the consulate does reserve the right to deny any items deemed suspicious, so it's best you leave your valuables at home or in your car. On Simcoe, I'm Tracy Tong, City News.